Yes, guys, it's it's that time of the year again where we choose the worst game of 2018. And there's been some right f***ing banter wank out in 2018. Some people say it's been a great year for games. Well, I'm sorry, but no, it hasn't. It's, I mean, just because there's been three or four decent games out, or good games, more than decent, good, very good games, does not make a good year. I mean, it just doesn't. We should be getting about eight or nine really good games out a year with the amount of money and the huge amount of manpower these developers have at their disposal. We should be getting eight or nine top-notch games a year, but we don't. We get cash grabs. We get underhanded marketing shills. We get lies. We get unfinished shit. We get copy-and-pasted wank. It's just been f***ing awful this year for games. We have seen the least effort put into games by a lot of big-name f***ing developers. I mean, look at the Far Cry DLCs. My goodness. I'm going to need bells. I'm going to need more bells than this. This is just... The, the amount of shite that I've had to wade through. Do you know, much, do you know what? I, I almost had to go to a f***ing psychiatrist this year. The amount of shit that I've had to play to get you guys saving money has it's, it's mentally impaired me a little bit. It's it's not good for you. You go to the doctors and he's like, he's examining and he said, I can't find anything wrong with you, yet you're f***ing mental. You know what's wrong? It's because I've been playing shit games all f***ing year, doctor. <laughs> It f***s with your brain, guys. It it does. I, I swear down, it does. You, you walk into a game, you know, like it's it's like a, a game shop in the shopping mall. You've got them in America, you know, they've got games stop is it over there it's called game over here and and they've got these booths these booths with controllers and people kids playing the shitty games guys they play the shit games they're just sitting there in a fucking line with the controllers and i walk past them and i just want to i just want to do i can't stand it they just stand there they go and buy it then you see parents buying shit games they pull them off the shelf oh yeah they'll buy them this is the way he wanted was it was it this one was it was it was it was it i didn't even look at the list i didn't even look at the list sea of thieves <laughs> sea of thieves <laughs> oh my fucking off sea of thieves you remember that one guys remember the hype from e3 all those shilling fucking streamers all them shilling do you know what there was a few of us bought it. Few, there was me and a few of my patrons all bought it. We went in together. £50 each we'd spent. There was four of us. That's 200 f***ing bills between us. And we joined that game. Got on a f***ing boat. And sailed around and we saw f*** all. F*** all. Sailing around the high f***ing seas and we saw f*** all. Didn't even see a f***ing trout. Nothing. Just a dead, empty f***ing pile of wank game we we went to an island a couple of skeletons pop out the ground and go ooh, ooh. so we killed them got a bunch of fucking treasure chests went back to the beginning handed them in got some money bought some fucking guns and sails saw fuck all sailed around the fucking map went off the edge of the world saw fuck all sailed everywhere saw fuck all content fuck all other players fuck Oh, there's a guy. There's a guy. Look, there's a guy. We've only been playing two hours. There's a f***ing guy. Let's go and get him. No, no, no. It wasn't a guy. It's a rock. Awful f***ing game. No content. Nothing. Absolute trash. Absolute f***ing trash game. Speaking of trash games that involve boats. Atlas. Should I say Ark? Ark. Ark that doesn't work. There you go. I'm not even including that one because it's just... I don't even class it as a game. Let's move on to some really expensive bad games. The Crew 2. <gasps> the Crew 2. The Crew 2. Yeah, yeah, Crew 2, man. He can be a plane. He can be a plane. Press a button, you're a boat. Press a button, you're a fucking car. Press another button, you're a fucking plane. I don't want that fucking game, you bricks. I want fucking immersion. I want to be driving around in a fucking good car that handles well and that drives like a fucking car. I don't want to press a button. It's not Hong Kong fucking fooey. I don't want to press a button and become a fucking plane. You utter out of touch. And then you got the world just full of shit. 
It's just full. The whole hood's full of shit. Who drive past here? Drive into that hoop there. Drive into that hoop there. Fly through them sixteen hoops. God, just fuck off, will ya? Awful game. Fucking awful game. The only good thing about the crew too was the actual cars handled well. The cars actually handled well. The game was awful, but the cars handled well. Unlike Forza, where the cars just didn't handle very good. But hey, Crew 2, they handled well. Everything else was awful. Then guys, as mentioned earlier, we had Far Cry 5 DLCs. Now, these aren't games of the year, obviously, because they are DLCs, but guys, Hours of Darkness. Eesh. Lost on f***ing Mars. And what about the unforgettable zombies? Easily the worst DLCs I've ever, ever seen. Tragic trash. That's what they were. Trash. Just Cause 4. How could they? Just Cause 4. Just Cause 3 was bloody great fun. Just Cause 4. I was so looking forward to that. Do you know what? I had that in as a potential for Game of the Year, Just Cause 4. I knew it wouldn't win Game of the Year, but I thought it would at least be nominatable for Game of the Year. My goodness, what were they thinking of? Absolutely awful game. The textures in that game are trash. The performance is trash. Some people actually thought that game was good. <laughs> but there's way worse than that. Oh, guys, way worse. Obviously, you know what's coming next, don't you? That's right, Fallout 76. Fallout 76. <laughs> Fallout 76, guys. You've played Fallout 3. You loved Fallout New Vegas. You thought Fallout 4 was alright, but it had a few bugs. But nothing could prepare you for the shit fest that is Fallout 76. What a absolute abomination of a game that was. The AI, the pathfinding. In fact, guys, just everything. Uh, it'd be easier to, and quicker to see what was right with that game. That was absolute one of the worst games I think I've ever played in my some of the some of the actual decisions that they took in the development of that game just beg a belief. The, the, the way you build your house where you put that, the whole interface guys, the whole f***ing interface on the PC for building is just trans, in fact the whole interface for everything, do you know what, when I played Fallout 3 years and years ago, how many years, probably 10 years ago, I remember the interface was awful for that, but somebody made a mod, like about a week after the game had launched, someone made a mod to just put everything into proper categories in your inventory, made the game so much easier to play, and you know what, that was over 10 years ago. The developers will be aware of that mod. How, did they implement that? No. No. No, oh, just let's just mix them all together in a big f***ing list. F*** it all. Who cares? Who cares? They'll buy it. We've shielded it at E3. We've got some we've got some people to love it. It's going to be fine. Gamers are f***ing stupid. Do you know what? I don't think gamers are as stupid as they were in 2017. I think gamers are starting to wake the f*** up and open their eyes. It's ever since the um, uh, Star Wars Battlefront 2 thing, I think gamers are now, st well, not all of them, clearly, by, by the amount of f***ing people defending Atlas, but people are starting to generally open their eyes and say, do you know what? We've had enough of being butt f***ed off you c***ts. And... I'm pleased, I'm pleased that the gaming industry, it's about high time people got standards and woke up. It really is. And uh, hopefully in 2019, we will get a lot more of it because I do think 2019 will be the year of the shill. I'll do more on that later on. Anyway, Fallout 76 was bad, but there was one game. One game. <laughs> there was one game. <laughs> There was one game, guys, that just stood out to me as even worse than Fallout 76. <laughs> and it was worse. <laughs> it was worse because... It was worse because the development team actually, actually thought that this would be a good idea to do. <laughs> F***ing hell, guys. Here's a clip.
they had this idea that they could make a video game about a deaf person. And they thought, guys, <laughs> that the player would love to play a game with a deaf person. So there's no musical score, no, no dialogue. You just see faces of people who are talking without any words coming out of their mouth. You can't hear the words. Now, the guy who you play can lip-read and sign language. Can you? I very much doubt it. Well, I certainly can't, so as I'm playing this game, I see all these people who I don't even know who they are. All I know, guys, is that I play some guy who looks like a girl, who has a woman's haircut, looks like a big girl's blouse, built like a string of piss, and he keeps walking into strange places and getting attacked off three people all the time. Three people. Sometimes they arrive in a car with baseball hats on. But then as they get out the car, they have bandanas on. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes they're in an alley. Sometimes they're in a building. Sometimes it's a train station. But always, always, it's three guys. And you fight these three guys by spamming two f***ing buttons, guys. Yes, left mouse, right mouse, left mouse, right mouse, left mouse, right mouse. And the fighting is so bad that if you were punching somebody in the face and you knock them over and then punch them again, they'll instantly stand up to get the punch in the face. One guy actually did this backflip so his legs were in front of me and as I punched his legs, the game instantly switched his legs for his face because they only have an animation for punching a face so they just instant insta-flipped him back. Yeah, and that's the combat. That's it. All the time. That's all you do. Spam, 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 spam. There's nothing, nothing. You press the space bar to dodge, but it just looks like he's having a seizure. It's just awful. The combat, none out of ten. It was just un believably bad, that game. I mean, the, the actors that, that, were, that have been brought in looked bad. They just, nothing worked in that. Literally not one Thing worked in that game. Nothing. Everything failed. Everything in that game was just an ultimate failure. And for that reason, I have got to give Quiet Man the worst game of the year of 2018. I've never seen anything as bad as that because it was all made by developers who thought that they thought they thought it was good. That's what makes it so bad. It wasn't like an early access kind of, hey, look, we've got this kind of idea. This was a finished game that the developers, you could tell they were so proud of. It's like, there, we present to you The Quiet Man. This groundbreaking new genre in video game where we'll just not have any sound, kind of. And there you go. Enjoy that one. It just shows you guys how out of touch with their customers a lot of these big software companies are. I mean, E3, E3 is now, it's just a fucking joke, let's be honest. You've got all these CEOs standing out there, trying to look like gamers, trying to talk like gamers, and then you've got the fucking audience, whether it's BlizzCon, whether it's E3 or wherever, they are just brown nosing little sitting there, half of the fuckers is paid shills to just whoop whoop and go yeah man, yeah, yeah, like that that's that's all the fucking paid to do These they must think, they must fucking think that us gamers are fucking idiots, that we sit there and believe it all, well to be fair guys quite a few gamers do actually sit there and believe it all, and it's just unbelievable and it has to stop, it has to end, it needs to crash the whole fucking system needs to crash. So does fucking social media while I'm at it. These people that are just ruining everything. You know, I look at uh, Rotten Tomatoes, Doctor Who, Series 11. Doctor Who, you know, with the female fucking doctor. You know, 95%. 95%. The critics. They're the critics. They're the critics. Give it 90. Max, what the Scott should up, you prick. 95%, guys. But do you know what the user, the viewers, you know what the viewer rating is of that show? 30 fucking percent. How can you have such a huge disparity between 95% from the critics, 30% from the actual viewers? I'll tell you why. Paid 
fucking shills. Scaredy cats. We, we, we better be politically correct and we'll be called ists. And that's the problem. And it's the same in games. They're fucking up games. These SJWs are fucking them up. Adding their shit to all the fucking games. Ruining everything. They've ruined Hollywood. They're ruining the games. They're ruining sci-fi. They're ruining fucking everything. The little wankers. <laughs> <sighs> There's another bell broke. Have a great new year, guys. I'll see you in 2019. More bells to get ordered. <laughs>